Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play aggressive and dominate your games on Kindred Jungle. I accidentally started Q instead of W, so our initial clear wasn't as good as it should have been. Make sure you start W instead of Q, then get your Q. Anyways though, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. At least your Q is still very useful. I think I'll just Wolves, Blue Gromp, Gank, Scuttle. Yeah, but you want your W. Your W is a nice little slow and it lasts forever. And by the time it ends, it's... I think the cooldown's lowered too. Yeah, the cooldown starts from when you first cast it, which is really nice. Yeah, it's much harder to kite camps this season. They move faster and they have less end lag in between their autos. You still kite them, you're just gonna take more damage. I think they did that to close skill gap to lower the skill ceiling to where a good jungler or a bad jungler or an experienced and non experienced jungler, there's not as big of a difference. They've done a lot of changes like that. Kha'Zix guide. Uh, yeah, I'll do an Electrocute Dark Harvest Kha'Zix. I just don't have him on this account for whatever reason. This account has most champions. It's just... It's missing the ones I want to play. Uh, I guess Zen took his golems. He did a really weird route. He did like a literal full clear. You don't normally see that out of Zenzo. Oh yeah, Pantheon mid's actually god tier right now. This patch is actually really, really good. All right, that's nice. Going for that big Q max. Look for something top lane. Kindred mainly plays towards enemy's jungle on the out, like upward part of the map she doesn't want to play too much on her side so wukong's playing kind of safe i wish i saved my sweeper to kill the real one oh you're so screwed dude yeah he used his clone to try to find her that was really 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 Greedy. He needed to hold on to that bad boy. I didn't even have my sweeper, so he might have actually gotten away. Ripperoni, Wukong. Alright, let's grab control word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really not too concerned about marks on this champ. Whenever I play and play for marks, I lose. But whenever I just play for easy ganks, I win. Why is Pantheon good? Because his base stats are just really good. He doesn't need items to be strong. And high eel having OP base stats is generally what wins you games. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. I could smell you like a dirty piece of slime. Like a dirty, bat, greasy fart. Zen wafted into my jungle. Greasy he was. <laughs> Smell him. You want to watch me feed? Well, I'll play Rengar the next game, right? Does that sound like fun? I'll play some Rengar for you. Yeah, I'm not, I just haven't played Rengar enough. I've probably played him two games ever since his rework. I, I don't know. I, I haven't just haven't done it enough. Generally for me, I have to play champ roughly five games total to get 80-90% like mastery with them. I just haven't done it. I think Kha'Zix is a better Rengar. Kha'Zix is a more consistent, more meta Rengar in most given patches. I think Rengar is probably better top laner than he is even a jungler. All right, level six, baby. Let's go. We got the Berserker Grease going here. 
if you guys are wondering why I went Berserkers, if you're playing Kindred or Graves or Twitch jungle, if you're ahead, going an early pair of tier two boots just gets you scale and then pop. And notice how I placed my Ws to try to path properly. Uh, have I even taken these yet? Yeah, these are level one. That's kind of funny. So I placed my W to where it's on my red and my wrap. So after I finish my wraps, I can go to my red and have it help me a little bit like that. It gave me a little slow there. Boots also help you kite because of the movement speed. Yo, thank you for the gifted sub, Sean Bean. Uh, what is that up to? I just got my red. That means his red's up. Is this warded or something? Why is he acting like that? Zin's about to come to his walls. And if he doesn't, then he's a goon. Yeah, I thought so, Zen. You stinky little fart muncher. I'll be taking those. We gotta put this mark on Wooly Bear. It's not letting me mark anything, though, for some reason. I think I could take this fast enough, even though Zen knows I'm on it. He literally knows I'm on it, but there's nothing he can do about it. Because I take it too fast. Uh, there's other rewards other than viewer games. You can redeem other things if you're on different regions. Yeah, Gwen's really OP right now. Gwen and Silas and Ezreal, Lulu, Yumi, they're all really, really good. Yumi a little less so than the others, but if she's got a duo or a hyper carry, then Yumi's still a huge issue too. Oh, it's a little sad Zinza. He, he looks so pretty when he's sad. Oh, I think he just saw me. I want to kill him, though. I can taste him. Oh, what? Zin Zao. Where are you, my guy? Uh, I don't know. Zin Zao's playing really scared now. I think we spooked him too much. Time for Volibear to die. He just wasted his E. Or in his mind, he's just pushing the wave. But for me, he just wasted it. Alright. Yeah, Kendra's really good at diving if you can get him low. Alright, I gotta go get my mark here, actually. I'm gonna go grab that. Is Kindred a good jungle to climb with right now? She's, con she's considered a top 10 if you want to play a ranged AD jungle champion. She's about as good as it gets at the moment. She hasn't been as strong as she is now for probably over a year and a half. She's pretty good. I like her. The thing about her is you generally need a front line on your team. And their, front their team actually has a bigger front line. But since I'm not playing at my peak elo then I know I can still carry. But generally, you still want to have like a tank support or a tank top if they have like a tank and two bruisers. Otherwise, like if you don't have any kind of front line, you'll just get mulched and you won't be able to kite properly. But you can just think of her like a playing a more mobile AD carry. That's a viable jungler. That's really what she is. Yeah, change Gwen. Yeah, Gwen's disgusting. Just remove that foul champ from the game. She makes me sick just looking at her. She Gwen's pretty much the definition of power creep. Mobility. Ridiculous self-healing. 1v9 carry. It's gross. There's Wooly Bear. Let's, let's snag him real quick. Zen Pow just died. 
Oh, bully bear, you sweet, you sweet man. You sweet, sweet man. I'll be taking these. He even had barrier and still died. <laughs> I'm not even full item either. I'm just kiting him like crazy. All right, let's grab our mark. I'll wait for Zinza. I want a double mark here. I can taste him. <laughs> yeah, I can smell it. Okay, never mind. Oh, I'm technically right. I could smell him, but he started to waft the wrong way. He's probably scared I'm going to get him on his mark. But at least we get a mark. We'll go for the Wukong. Who's a good frontline jungle? Like Ramus, Zach, Nunu, Wooly Bear. Oh, I got scared there for a second. I thought Pantheon was on their team. This is gonna be really hard to dive, man. <laughs> Oh, I didn't R. I didn't see the turret shot though. I could have easily lived there. I knew he didn't have enough damage to kill me, but the last turret shot that came in wrecked me and I, I just legit, my eyeballs didn't see it. Feels bad. There's not many good frontliner junglers right now. The most meta junglers aren't really frontliners. Or not like tank frontliners. The most viable tank at the moment in terms of jungles is like Zac, Nunu, Ramus, and they're not even high tier. Uh, what are we gonna build next? Looks like it's Collector all the way. That makes sense. I'm seeing a lot of champions build Collector who are AD based. I've been seeing Draven and uh, I forget who the other one was, but I've seen a couple do it. Makes sense on Kindred since you have your Q AoEs and your the way your R interaction works, how everyone's still low on health after your R. Makes sense. Wooly bear, where are you? I got a little something for you. Oh, never mind. He's hiding. So at this point, you just want to take objectives. If they're not going to play the game and hide, they're uh, basically put themselves in a corner. Or it's, I guess locking themselves in a room. So you just light the room on fire and you don't call the fire department. That is this strategy. So we're just gonna take every single objective and they lose. If people refuse to, to contest, then you just take, you take it all. They're trying the appeasement strategy and we're Germany, baby. You can't appease us. <laughs> Oh no, not like this. Nice. Hey, those little walls are your best friend. If you guys enjoyed this Kindred Beatdown, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.